Okay, so this absolutely blew my mind when I found out about this. Because there are so many Bible conspiracies that are 100% bogus. But there is this one theory, which I'm not gonna lie, sounds completely absurd until you actually read what it says. Now, I'm talking about the pre-Adam humans which God created one day before Adam and Eve. Okay, so in Genesis 1.26, we hear that God says, Let us make mankind in our own image, in our likeness. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. And it was so. And it was so. See, in days 1 through 5, when God creates the world, when God commanded something into existence, that thing would just burst forth and... It was so. Now on day six, it tells us that God created man and women in his own image. Male and female, he created them. And he gave them the whole world to subdue. But the very next day, in the very next chapter, on day seven, God then places a man in the Garden of Eden. And his wife would be taken from his rib. Genesis 2.15 Then the Lord God took the man and put them in the Garden of Eden. You are free to eat from every tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge. After reading Genesis, it seems like there were humans populating the earth before Adam and Eve. And then God made Adam and Eve, which populated the Garden of Eden. It kind of seems like there are two groups of humans. I think the whole reason why people believe in this theory is because it accounts for a couple missing gaps in the Bible. You see, one huge question that Christians and skeptics have alike is how did Cain find a wife and keep his line going? Because remember, after he killed his brother Abel, he was sent off into the wilderness pretty much alone. But before we know it, Cain goes on to build entire cities, but the Bible never really clarifies with who. So now the question is, who did Cain take as a wife? Well, of course, theory one is that humans were here on earth before Adam and Eve. So therefore, Cain found a wife from the pre-Adam humans that already lived on the earth. But let me just fact check all of you guys here real quick, because this all sounds very convincing, especially after you read it for yourself. But I am so sorry to inform you that this is more than likely completely false. This seems like more of a response to an unanswered question. It's people trying to account for how one person could populate the whole world after leaving the only other humans behind. But there is actually a whole lot more to this story. And there's actually more than a couple answers to how Cain found his wife, which does not involve a secondary race of humans. Now, according to numerous biblical sources, we actually hear that Cain and Abel eventually had two sisters. And no, this isn't found in the Bible, granted. But in the Apocrypha, in books like the Book of Jubilees, which is is said to be written by Moses himself. It explains how after Abel died, Eve would eventually give birth to Awan and Azura. And after Cain gets kicked out, he marries his sister Awan and goes off to build a new city. There seems to be a missing piece of history which involves two sisters who married Cain and Seth, who then populated the whole world. But of course, this is not certain as always. And it's very good to delve into the potential histories of different things because it gives us more insight into the strange biblical world. But now going back to my original point, were there humans before Adam? Maybe, but I don't think so. You have to remember that Moses was the one who wrote Genesis and Moses is just a man. So we have to account for some kind of human error. The truth is maybe Moses didn't clarify enough, but the flip side to that coin is that maybe possibly we are interpreting it wrong. And that's the thing. Sometimes the biggest conspiracies were just simple human errors all along.